Uh, so Lauren uh, Sula, our next presenter, he's uh, coached at a number of post-secondary institutions over the years and won a national championships with the U of A in 1999-2000, won Coach of the Year honours. Lauren has authored several manuals with Volleyball Canada and the FIVB. He's contributed to several commissions. Uh, he's coached Team Canada and other national teams, Switzerland, Australia, Sweden. Uh, he's been inducted into the Volleyball Alberta and Volleyball Canada Halls of Fame, and I could go on and go on, but uh, we'll cut it short and we'll let, we'll let Lauren uh, get right to it. So thank you, Lauren. Thank you very much, Jim. Yes. Welcome, and uh, I'm pleased to present you some things. I am not going to just talk about, I'm going to talk about underhand serve, about standing float serve, jump float serve, a bit on spin serving because you're going to face it all the time. Uh, and I'm not going to go into the, you know, left foot, right foot mechanics. I'll talk about those. I'll, I'm expecting you have some concept of what a serve is, so you can take it from there and go on. But I'm going to give you some of my hints and things that I think that will help you. As I go along here, I'll stop every now and then. If you've got any questions, I'll take them. And then we'll use the athletes for demonstration, trying to show you some of the things. Some general things. It doesn't matter if you're starting with 13-year-olds and... 12-year-olds and learning underhand service and you're going on to 16, 17s and you're maybe you've got some guys that want spin serves and other things like that because uh, you'll face that. I mean, the guys, as soon as they're 15, they want to be spinning that ball out of the gym so fast that it scares you. Uh, there's some things and some sort of steps that I think you should think about when you are looking at not just this skill but other skills. One is that in preparing for whatever that skill is, and let's say this skill right now is the service, and basically you want to deal yourself with three aspects that are there. The preparation or pre-contact phase, before the ball is actually touched by you. The second one is the ball contact phase, where that you're actually touching the ball. And the third is what happens on the follow-through or, or post-contact, after the contact's made. So some of that may include little things of your arm, your body, where you're going on the court, all those kind of things. If you think of it in those three steps, every skill is easy then. Because you've got to teach all three components. And it's sometimes it's a good concept to get into your head that teaching the whole thing very quickly, try it, and then breaking it down into the com three little components in steps will help those athletes develop and improve. Uh, Within that, there's the skill fundamentals, and you're aware of some of the things, the toss, whatever footwork you want them to do, uh, arm and hand movement and contacts, follow through, uh, after service, what happens next, etc. Those are all components that you have to decide how you're going to introduce to your athletes. And sometimes you have to be aware that all athletes are a little bit different. There may be one technique or style that you like and like to see some athletes do it, but because of their somatotype or how they're mentally constructed, you, they may, you might decide there's something that will work for them that won't be working for everybody else that you want within that team or that structure. Secondly, with service, because there's two times in the game of volleyball where the game is stopped and a, a mental rehearsal routine is important. Okay, I won't have you guess at it, and I'm sure you'll get it all, but that one of those is service because the ball is stopped. And what's the other skill then if they're serving the ball? Receiving the ball, because you're stopped and you're waiting for the ball to come to you. So you'll all have some routines that you go through at that particular point in time. And right from the very beginning, you're giving some very basic concepts that you're going to try to get across to them, even at the age of 13 when they're looking to get the ball over the nets. One of those routines may be just get, you know, serve the ball. Don't matter where it goes, how it goes, let them try it, and then again, break it down, refine it, and go back to some of the things that might make it work for them. As you go along, there's a whole bunch of things, and Jim will send you this document that I just put some ideas down, and there's a whole bunch of things there, and we'll do some of the things on some of the tactics of serving and what you can do. What I mean by tactics is eventually you go from just the skill of service of trying to, well, we say round ball doesn't go through square holes, right? 
So we would like it to go over. And you have what you call uh, various degrees of mistakes that occur in service. The best mistake is serving it out of bounds. Okay? Maybe the worst mistake, of course, is letting the ball hit your head after you toss it and swing, or serving it into the round holes or the square holes over there. So you don't want, you would like to go away from that. So you start by trying to get them to put the ball as deep into the court as possible. The more that you can put a ball into the back part of the court, the more trouble you're going to give your opponents. And we all know, especially in women's play at 14s or 15s probably, you get that one server, especially at school, where there's not many good, all skilled players, somebody starts serving and what do they do? You know, they'll get nine in a row this time, next time they'll miss nine in a row. Your job is to try to make that skill be a little bit more consistent in what they're trying to do. Uh, there's some things as you go along later as you're learning. The first things I think that you learn is the skill itself. It doesn't matter what it is. The second things you start to do is trying to learn them how to go cross court or line with the server. So there's a little tactic now involved. Where's it going to go? How's it going to get there? What are you trying to look at? Where are you trying to put the ball, etc. And eventually that expands the whole bucket into different things of uh, serving around players. Or first it's at players and then it's around players or to the right of a player just because of where they are. And then you keep on adding it up as you go up the ladder and you get into older athletes. Then it's depending on rotations and where you'd want to put a ball in rotation as you go through that. So those tactics expand uh, exponentially as you go along. Once they learn a little bit on uh, cross court or line service, and the fundamentals that I show a little bit on underhand service carry on to overhand, to standing, to jump float, to spin serve, they all are the same concepts as you go through it. Uh, learning how to serve the ball may be short. That's something we don't teach up. We're most happy with all our kids because I get them at Aspire, where I do a lot of training at, and I get them coming in, even at 16, still have never tried to put a short serve into the court. And you have to know how to do that if you really want to use it as a tactic. Because there's nothing worse than if you look at those rotations you see out there, whether it, we call it a stack, where you've got a middle player with a setter out here, somebody, if you're using a three-man pattern, there might be three people together or two people. If you put a ball short where that middle's coming from, putting the, the team under pressure, it's a good way to get some points very quickly for your team. As you go along, then learning eventually what I call the uh, rhythm parts of the game. Understanding that the game starts, so, you know, do we take chances to start the game? Do we just keep the ball alive? Whatever, those kind of things. Timeouts, substitutions, going in. You're coming into the game, your first serve you start to learn a rhythm of what you're capable of doing. And as you get better, maybe you get more than one point. Maybe you get two points. Maybe you get three points. And what do you want to do? Because one of the worst things that I see is that, depending on where the score is, you have to decide whether you are, we call it, uh, uh, live by the serve or die by the sword. <laughs> it's a little, a little different than live by the sword and die by the sword. It's the same idea, but, you know, I can go for aces nearly all the time if that's my philosophy. But I will make a lot of mistakes and allow the other team to get their breath and stay in the game, etc. Although, in some cases, especially in men's games, as you go up the ladder, the serve has to be a weapon. If it's just what we call a marshmallow going over the net, it's going to be much more difficult. But even at a marshmallow, at 17, 18 can cause trouble if it's what we call a high marshmallow <laughs> and going to the back part of the court. Because generally I'll tell you that kids learn that low fast trajectory and they learn how to try to get behind and pass that ball. But when that ball goes really high and comes down, the first thing they do is they go right to the back part of the court here and then they pass this ball from here and the ball's coming high so I'm standing up and what do I do? I pass it up, setter's running to the middle of the court, it's not a pass going to where it's got to go. That's a tactical serve. Maybe that's a serve you need for the first serve in the game. That's what you need after a substitution, timeouts. Score is 23-23. You could be using that. If you've got the confidence and you're the player that feels good about themselves, you're going to do something more aggressive. If you're just a substitute coming off the bench and the score is there, you know, you should know you've got a chance 
to still do something, not ha just having to serve the ball, but maybe I can make that high, deep kind of serve, and I know how to make that adjustment. So you have to teach that to your players as opposed to just thinking of the skill itself of just get there and hammer the ball for service, that kind of stuff. Uh, timing, if I, watch, if I can watch flow and ebb, and I call it in the game when you start watching it, for a lot of you, if you're level one coaches, I would recommend that you keep what is called flow theory on the bench. Not you, but one of your players keep it. That's where you just give yourself a point. You know, every point you get, you go up on the graph one. If you lose it, you go down, down, or up, up, up. And you try to show the players how this rhythm in the game goes. Because if you start to add into that some of the things that occur, and that we get up by three points and it looks like it's good, and I go for the ace, and I miss, all of a sudden it's two points, and we make a mistake, and then it's one point, and then the pressures change. So as you get along into service, as you go along there later as well, you're trying to put players under some pressure. You don't get to serve just standing there, breathing nicely, games not, you know, causing you some kind of grief or whatever it is. And so you have to put them into that through maybe many points in the game, putting them there, stopping the, the training, giving them the ball, so you serve now, everybody's watching, you know, everybody hates that. But that's the kind of pressures you have to create if they want to be good. Sometimes, you know, uh, the routine eventually of service, as we call, you've got a little thing that you go through. The biggest aspect that I can give to you is breathing. <sighs> Just take, kids don't like to do that. I get them at a spire and they go, <sighs> you know, they won't, won't do it. They'll hide from it. They'll, and yet, <sighs> you watch good people before, especially as it goes up the ladder, before they do, they might bounce the ball once. Don't allow the routines to get into 75 bounces this way. Turn around, bounce, bounce, get back up. Get away from that as quickly as you can. Two, three bounces, whatever you want. I'll talk about the routine in a little bit as we go into some of these things. When I use some of the examples in some of these service, girls, you can start to now play with pepper. Go, go ahead and warm up. Make sure you're warm. <laughs> I tell them to wait until they start to get towards the end here. In the game of volleyball, service, if you get them to get the understanding, the first serve is going in or whatever you want to call it. And if you say, put the, you know, I hate it when a coach stands on the sideline and put it in. <laughs> well, what do you think their objective is always is? It's to put it in. So forget about it. Let them get into their thing. Don't put, the, that's an added, don't miss. Holy gosh. Probably the worst thing in the world that could happen to you. You start to get into that, you know. So try to stay away from that. If the player misses, you note, you put them into some situation in a drill in training that will allow them to try that with that kind of a pressure situation. You have to put them under pressure if you want them to eventually improve as they go through that. When you serve a ball, the first serve of the game, maybe is that, you know, just a higher ball going into a position on the court anywhere. You're not worried too much about positioning or whatever. If you're 13, 14, even 15 now, you're starting more tactics, as I said. Even at 14, you're learning basics of it. 13, it's more keep the ball alive, the technical skills, making sure that they get this, what we call, groove going in their arms, whatever they're trying to do. Um, all right, I'm just going to, one last point, I think, here. So I'm, I've got one girl all ready to go with an underhand service. How many people have kids that are still underhand serving on your teams? Yeah, so it's going to be a lot. It is going to be very important as you go through it, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time at it. Girls, uh, if you can, uh, both sides, working an underhand serve, and I'll just talk and watch you serve. Everybody. Okay, where's my demonstrator for my underhand serve? Did I, you were the lady? You're who, right there. Yeah. Give her a ball. You keep going. Both sides, just serve, but you come over this way so they can see you a bit more. So you just go ahead and start warming up, serving and whatever. Bring the balls in with you guys so you have lots of balls. Yeah, go ahead. Just underhand serving, everybody. Yeah. Even though these are older athletes and they said, oh, I don't do that anymore. You know, the underhand serve can be a heck of a weapon. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Hit the coach. That's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> when you watch these girls underhand serve, what are they doing nearly every one of them? They're standing upright, right? They're standing here, and their hands are going up as you go through. Okay, everybody just listening to me, I just want you to think of 
put your left foot a little bit ahead, put the ball in your left hand, okay? And just a few steps, starting to rock, step, and put the ball over the net, okay? That's all. Rocking on that foot, and step on it, put it over the net. Good. With your hands, make sure that it's pushed in the direction you want the serve to go to. Most of them will use a slight fist. Some can use an open heel hand contact, but fist is probably the easiest on the ball. Their hand should go towards where they want the ball to go, and we don't want their hand to come up above their shoulder if possible. So if they do this, they're going to stand up, trying to get the ball there. All right? So if you were bowling right here, you guys keep serving. If you were bowling, how would you bowl this ball under the net? Do it. Yeah. yeah. So this is the, what you, there. See where she is now? She's into this, what I call, bent position. So she's here, you're taking that step, and you're throwing the ball. Okay, now just hit the ball, okay? All right? So now she is going up, and what did she do? She hit this part of her hand. Try to keep your hand flatter and coming through the ball here as opposed to up on the ball, okay? Ready? Better. One more ball right behind you there. Guys, go ahead. Let's see what you're doing there. Okay, now, so everybody stop for a second. One of the things we said, when we said bowling, what did we look for? We want to see you down here, not up here to start with. So we want to see you over the ball and coming through the ball, and the hand is where you step, is the ball's going to follow that hand going straight forward. So a little bit of a bend. Go ahead, everybody. Yeah. Bend, 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 bend. Yeah. Better. Watch where your hand is going. You can see, if you look at just the hands in all these skills, that will tell you a lot of what's happening. You'll see them going all over the place. The hand has to stay in the line of that thigh, of the right thigh. That's what you want to look for. Go ahead again. That, okay, where's your hand finishing now? You, no, it's finishing over here. So you pointing out where, what's happening to them so they get a sort of a s visual sense in their mind of what's happening for themselves. Better. You guys are quick learners now, being forgotten about the underhand serve. Okay, she's stepping. That's good. See how she had her hand going to the ball? She's doing a good thing with that ball. We used to, when we were used to play, just for fun, uh, try this, you, you three try. You guys keep serving your way. Stand back here, make a run, and serve the ball. Okay? You'd be surprised what you can do with this ball. We used to do in the old days, that used to be our weapon. That's a hard serve. Bang. We'd run after the ball and serve it. I'm not asking you to do that, but you can see when you get your body behind the ball, the ball will take off. And it can be, if you get it flat and through, very good weapon. Okay, you don't have to do the run now, guys, just back to normal. Try to put the ball out of bounds, but don't stand up. Stay over the ball. Same thing here. Try to push the ball out of bounds. Don't stand up after you finish. Better. Watch where your hand's going now. Still. Better. Where's your hand going? Yeah. Yeah, good. You can feel it. There, it's good. There, that's better. She said, I could feel it when after I pointed it out. So just that referral back of what's happening there is very important. Ladies, just one more step. If you keep the ball out here on your left hand and you're going to serve it, the tendency, you're going to drop it, but you're going to bring your hand to the ball. So move your hand over so the ball is already on this right foot and then serve the ball, as opposed to keeping it here and letting it sort of loop, or you bring your hand to the ball. Because then you step, and the ball goes in a weird direction. So you just turn it over, step, and serve the ball. Okay? Drag that back foot now. As you step, drag into it. Much better. Good. Okay? That's a better co arm contact. Good job. Don't be afraid to come back and say good, because that will help them continue to improve as they go along. All right. If I want you guys to be serving because you're standing there more or less, and normally, even at, if you're playing with 13-year-olds, they're going to serve from all three positions, they're going to play all three back row positions. They should serve from where they're going in from to play defense, okay? So young kids should learn all three positions in the back row where to serve from because you want them to go to their quickest defensive position. There's nothing worse than in high school 
is watching the setter go to position five, serve, and then run all the way across the court to try to get here to get into their defensive position. You will learn very quickly that after service, something has to take place, and that's usually playing defense. So starting in that defensive position is very important. What I want you guys to do here, you're all serving, uh, sort of get a little closer together, not to, yeah, one go and then next one go and next one, and you're going to serve to the line. So when we're serving to the line, anytime we're serving to the line, whether it's underhand or overhand, we tell them to move inside a little bit, okay, about the green line is good, and you're aiming for where that hoop is. Can you pull that hoop back just a little bit? Right where it is is good, but just backwards, yeah? More yet? Good. So you're aiming, one, by aiming for that position on the court, if the ball floats, it's still a chance to be in. Okay? If you go from, serve from the line, and whether this goes to overhand serve, jump float serve, etc., you have to be pretty skilled not to allow the ball to take something out that will cause some mistake that could occur against you. So that's important. What I want you to do is you want you the same thing, step towards that target with your foot, your hips face there, and you make your follow through, not going over your shoulder. You guys, just a second, you guys on this side, you're serving the ball. Come, three of you come this way. Just Yeah, so t one starts with the ball. You're on underhand service. Two of you stay here. You're going cross court with the ball. So you don't have a target there, but if you were going cross court, maybe... Uh, Sarah, you can go cross court with your serve. You guys serve line. The other two's line, cross court. And you two here, you're going to serve the ball cross court. So when I'm going cross court, I'm actually aiming for that same spot, same distance away from both end and lines. Because then the ball can move, do things, drop shorter. You're okay. If you aim for a line, mistake. It's going to occur. So when you do, when she, you guys are going cross court, you're going to turn your, your hips. So your hips are facing target. You're going to step towards target and follow through. So it's the same serve as this is, but I've just added a different dimension. After maybe two or three, try serving to the line. Okay, so your hips will turn again. Just watch and I'll talk. Go ahead. Good. Hey, I'd like to get her on my 13-year-old team. She's got too much of a wind-up back here to whoomp the ball. A little bit easier step. Use your body more than your arm to make that contact. You're going... Cross, yeah. Better. Okay, ladies, go ahead. You're going cross court. So that's good. You see where her hips are? Yeah, good. And she's stepping there. You're standing up too high. Try to bend over the ball a bit more. So I want to make contact here as opposed to here. So again, pointing out simple mistakes can really, potential mistakes can help out. Go ahead, yeah. Good. All right. So just maybe a little too far in front, right? Catch it more by... This leg, so the arm can make better contact. So contact point becomes important. Where's your arm still going? You want to serve so hard. Maybe just step a little faster as you go through it. You're standing upright. Do you understand what bent, being bent is? Okay, I challenge, this is how you challenge athletes. Because they say yes, and they keep doing this, then it's not yes. So you challenge them. Don't let them get away with it from what they're trying to do as they go through it. A couple more. Yeah, and so she missed that serve. She was going there, arm changed, but the ball's in court. Does, you know, you've still got a potential tactic, but at least it's going. You know, that's what you're trying to do. Good job. Keep going, guys. You're going cross court here, yeah. Okay, step to me more. Step more to me, yes, with your hips. Good. Stop, stop, stop. Look at me, look at me. Turn your, stop. There, ah, good. Go ahead. There you go. So you watch where that step is going. If they're going cross court and they're stepping straight, no. Make sure they get their hips turned, stepping to that ball. Good. That's really good. That's not bad. Hey, a little better. Still a bit of an arm, but that's okay. You're eventually, you know, they're going to be short levers and some will have long levers. All you really want them to do is get consistent of what they're trying to do as I go through it. Okay, even in this drill, you grab uh, two balls each. Uh, grab two balls each and uh, you're going to serve in blue. Yeah, go, wherever you want to serve from. You pick whatever position. No, you keep, no, no, you keep the balls. You guys keep the balls. You're going to stand in front of her. Come in front of her here. Grab two balls, each of you. Grab two balls. Yeah, as long as we've got four. Good. Two more. 
Two of you stand right here. Two of you, come here with the balls. Yeah. One of you is going to serve. You're going to serve. You're going to give her a ball right after. You stand over here. Okay. So when I say go to increase the intensity, all we're going to do is you serve, and then you bounce her a ball. Okay. And then I'll come back to one more thing in a second here. So you serve and right away give her a bounce, and you got to serve right away again. Can't rest too long. Okay. Yes, underhand. You bet. Same thing there. One of you is serving. One of you is serving, and you guys are giving her four more balls very quickly. Okay? Good. So you're going to get up. Serve and ready? Go ahead. Yeah. Just watch your head here a bit. Go ahead. Watch your head. Go. Quickly go ahead. Yeah. Ball to her. Ball to her. Right away. Bang. Okay? Watch your head just behind you there. Yeah. Right away. So y this is the beginning of service routine. You've put them under pressure by giving them more balls in a row to try to make it, M making them work on their movement of their skill. All of these things I'm talking about transfer into overhand serve. They transfer into spike uh, serves, uh, float serves, etc. Okay, somebody else, quickly, S switch with somebody, get some balls, same thing. Uh, so you don't get hit in the head instead of going there, just stand beside them, okay? <laughs> Not all the time coming at you. So yeah, just give her the ball, Go ahead, in a row, very fast. Yeah, good. You're sta that's better. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Good, give her another ball. Right away, bang. Bang, right away, another one again. Good. Her form's not bad, actually, on this. Pretty good. I like your arm. Really good. So, uh, switch. I want you to serve, okay? Stop for a second. I want to watch you give her the ball. Stand right here. So you're facing her. You're going to serve from there. You're serving. Yes. Yes, you be. Come over here. Come over here. Yes, I want to. You're my perfect demonstration. Give her another ball. Give her the other ball. You served on her hand. Okay, go ahead. Ready? Doesn't matter. I can't. That doesn't exist in a volleyball player's repertoire. I can, I will, I did. Okay, go. So there she is. All right, so where's the ball? Give her another ball, quickly. Okay, so she stands. There, ready, go. Go. Stay down over the ball. Better. Okay. One more time now. Go for it. Stay down over the ball. Over the ball. Over the ball. Better. Okay. So she will learn where she has to go if I put that pressure on her back, just for sake of what has to happen as you go through that. Okay. Any uh, questions? We're going to go to overhand serve. Serve into the wall someplace, guys. Into that wall. So we're going to get right into overhand serve standing. Any questions? Any questions on underhand service that come to mind? That is bugging you. Any questions on underhand service? We're okay? Some of those points. Remember the arm moving inside a little bit, hips facing direction you want the ball to go. Even at this stage, you're teaching basic tactics by what you're trying to do. All right, this is the next fundamental stage too. Because what did we not do in that last stage? What, huh? Yeah, but if for thing, but no, we did worry about toss there. We didn't talk about routine. I forgot. <laughs> I'll bring it, I'll introduce it here on this one, okay? Routine. I didn't talk about routine. I'll introduce it coming up here. So this is the most important equipment in your gym. That wall. Okay, when you're learning how to do things, use the wall to make them understand what's got to happen. Or, uh, ladies, uh, come, two of you come here. One of you is just, you're catching their balls and rolling it back to them. Come over here, Sarah. You, two of you, yeah. You're catching a ball that end. Yeah, just catching and rolling it back. Okay. So come over on this side, please. Same thing there. I want two servers over there on that corner. Two servers. You guys are catching the ball and rolling it back to them. Okay. Standing right by the three meter line, all I want you to do is toss the ball to yourself and serve the ball backwards in the court. Even try to serve it out of bounds. I don't care. Okay. Where you go. You just, yeah, serve right from the three-meter line. Yep, yeah, go. Yeah, try. No, coach says you can't do that. Well, good job. All right. Keep going. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. That's good. Yeah, she'll give you another ball. Just catch your next ball, Sarah. Keep going, guys. Go ahead. Yep. All right. So I'm watching tosses right now. Usually a toss, about a meter is good. Two meters is too high. It adds then the back bending too much. But for younger kids, there's many things you can do to try to teach some things. 
when you've got young kids and they can't serve the ball from back there, they're having trouble. You notice they all started out because that's where they're at. Left foot's ahead, toss, and they're stepping. Okay, ladies, as you're going through this, the same thing now. If we think of tossing that ball, try to keep it about one meter above your head. Not too high, and I want you to step into the ball. And in, because we've already done this, what would I want to do with the ball with my left hand when I make the toss? If I'm tossing with one hand, what would I do with my other hand? Yeah, have it up, okay? And I'll talk about some of those things later, but have this one up. Personally, I like two-hand tossing, especially for younger kids. It's more accurate. To do that, do I keep my hand over here, or do I move my hand over here? Move it over to your hitting part, okay? So that same principle that they learned in 13s, serving underhand, is transferred into 14s and starting to be 15s, okay? Because the ball now is moved over to here, as opposed to going to here. Usually we toss here and then we step and serve it out of bounds. Go ahead. Yep. Can't serve it out of bounds anymore, eh? Good job. So as they go along here, yeah. Okay, you guys go catch now. Go catch on that side. One of you's changed with her. One of you's. You guys go back and catch. You move in a little bit closer. Same thing there, starting that side. Yeah, serving the ball and away you go. Just so, yeah, same idea. Try to serve it. You, you guys catch. Okay? So you can arrange your practice any way that you want to do that. Go ahead. Yep. Good. As you go along, you guys can step backwards now. Every time you maybe make two serves or one serve, two, I'd say two, move back a step. Move back a step. Keep yourself going backwards. So if you watch what they're doing, they're leaning with their left foot. It's a little bit of a head, and they're stepping. If you get young kids that aren't usually strong enough in the shoulders, uh, I would take my skinnies here. They might have some difficulties. Go ahead. Okay, not too bad. Toss is too high. Okay, bring that toss down. You notice that she stayed back here and she made a little step with her right and then her left. That's fine at that stage. I would say instead of these girls, go ahead, Sarah, show me your service ready position. She's starting neutral, good. Stepping, yeah, good. And she adds that she's got a, f this is what I would teach to her. But she's learned comfortable with it. So what she's doing here, show me again, please. She's neutral, just don't hit the ball. Just She's stepping with her right, left tossing, and then service. Younger kids that are weak in the upper bodies, you can get them to serve the ball by taking from a neutral position, one, two, three. As opposed to one service. If you're strong, you can do that. But if you're not strong, sometimes, and it's not that you're, Sarah's not strong, she's really strong. But it's comfortable for her, so she's doing it. Go ahead. And the beauty on my team is she's left-handed, and that'll mess me right up. No. <laughs> you know what it's like. You, you always talk to the right-hander and not to the left-hander. All right. Let her serve a couple balls. Just watch this right here. Do you want to serve again? And just get ready to stand. Yeah, give her the ball. Stop for a second. Ready? Give her another ball ready to come just before you start. Stop. See what she's doing with her hand here? See where the palm is going? When I start, this may be okay later because this causes some rotation as she comes to the ball. But when I start with younger kids, I like to see the, I call them, just put the elbow to the ear, and this hand is in that 90-degree range here, as opposed to here or as opposed to here, whatever it's trying to do. And we're stepping through, and the palm is facing where we want the ball to go. Same principle as before. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, turning that hand. That's good that way. I don't know she's comfortable with it, but if she was a young player, that's better. Good. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. All right. So here's a small player. Watch these three over here if you can. Let the others keep serving. These are the, the, what are called my smaller players. She's got a bit of a step, and she's coming through the ball. Coming in. Good ball. That's a, not a bad serve. Sarah, you take over. Watch Sarah for that three-step approach coming through. Go ahead. Yep. Back up, Sarah, too. Good ball. You kept that hand up. Very good. Eventually, we care that the hand follows through. Okay, right now the hand can go there and come down. is fine. When they get stronger, you will learn what is called a... I know some people call it a snap on the ball. They serve the ball. Danielle was great at that. Just that bang, that ball, and it takes off on you. 
in order to try to teach maybe something like that as you go forward, uh, keep going. Uh, Sarah, come to the over here. Keep going, service, yeah. If you take a piece of tubing and you attach it to a wall, here, put your hand on that, okay, and face this way as if you're going to serve the ball this way. So she gets the ball up. No, don't bend your elbow to where you're feeling for, yeah? Make your back. You're going to make that three-step approach a little bit, right? So she's going to step, step, right, and make that contact. So pretend you're going to toss the ball as you go through it. Do the whole routine. So she's going to use this and bang. And she's going to just try to keep that hand. It's going to pull her back. Okay? This is good for, and I'm going to bring these girls over here right away. Go ahead. Bang. Good. Okay? Now you come over here. You're gone. Go back there to service. Same thing here. You take one. You try three times and then go back to serve. Three times or after you serve, then three times here. Grab that. Put it on your hitting arm. Yeah. Get yourself here a little bit of tension. Yeah. Whatever you go. So go ahead and step forward. Keep the elbow up. Ready to go. Yeah. Good. Do it again. One more time. Fastly. Yep. Bang. Okay. One more time. A little bit too wide here. That, that's right. Good. Here we go. Get the elbow up. Good. Now ready to go. Go serve some right now. You come and do it. Yeah. So you just put that on a wall. They use that to get that technique of what is going to happen when they're making contact on the ball. It's a nice little thing that's useful at times. Go ahead. Yeah, go fast, yeah. Good. Keep that elbow up, bring the elbow up. Yes, good, yes. And you mimic the serve all the way through that as you're going through that. All right, another one. Go ahead, go ahead, go, you, don't be nice. <laughs> Your turn, my turn, no. Okay, see this young lady here? I've tied my comb, which she's going to give back to me or I'll forget it. Not that my hair needs it. I put a comb on there, and I put a piece of tape around it. So that it, it, what happens when she serves now, it's not going to allow her. She's a girl that I would say is bending her wrist too much when she serves. We would like to keep that wrist pretty flat. Backing up again now. And as you serve, I want you to put tension on your right hand, on your hand. So when your hand comes up, feel it. Pull across just a little bit so you're feeling a little bit of tension in that hand as opposed to relax. So it's mushy. This is green. Tent, 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 and that. That's right. Keep coming through that with that tension, okay? Where you go. Give her a ball. Let her do a few of the serves. Yep. So this will help her keep that wrist from bending if you wanted to just use a tool on that. And now she, she's got a, actually, you know, it's not bad. It's a little high going backwards. I wouldn't worry too much about correcting it until I get to a point where that I think she needs it. Right now, she's putting the ball over the net, and that's where I am at the beginning stages. Good ball. So if you watch Sarah there, she's coming in. Good serve. They're coming, and the ball's coming low and flat. Backing up. Now keep going. Yeah. Eventually to your whatever serve you use. Yeah. yeah. You can keep coming back a little bit if you want. Come back a bit. Yeah. All right. One of the things I said I would talk about we didn't do before is the routine. And your routine can be whatever it is. What do you like before you do, Sarah? Bounce it twice, okay? And then what? <laughs> See? She get it. Okay? That breathing. So whatever that is, you don't look at the ball if you want. But as you get up, you know what tactic. You look where I want to put the ball. Okay? And then you step in that direction and you put the ball there. Okay? So you try to... Use some kind of routine. I don't care what it is, all right? Just go ahead. Just focus on that. So when we do this drill fast, the only routine they might get is bang, bang. You know, they get this idea of using their breath to relax them before they make the serve. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Okay, right now I want one person to serve two balls in a row. So it's, you're giving, just stand here, sorry, stand over here. You're going to serve, but come over here with your ball. So no, the person, you're, you're serving, you're serving, you're serving, you are. So just, yeah, so you can just bounce with the ball. And then the next person comes in, get two, get two balls. Make sure that she's got two balls ready to serve, okay? And you just want to get, get it pretty fast, but you want her to make a quick routine. Maybe you can make your bounce, maybe not, whatever, Okay. Go ahead. As a coach, you're starting to do some of the things. Give her another ball. Bang. Good. Not bad. Bang. Did you breathe enough where you're stepping? Were you serving to the line or were you serving cross court? Or just my arm went? That's okay. 
Some cases, that's going to be the case. At least he's putting that ball into court, which is very good. Okay? Yeah, you switch after a bit so you guys are all... Same thing there. You can switch with these guys, too. A little bit too far in front. We'll give her another ball. Another ball. Let's go. She's chewing her gum, and she's taking her breath. Yeah. That's... Okay, toss is a bit too high, all right? Try to bring that toss down. Where we want this ball to go ideally for older kids is to land in front of this thigh. My hand will come down towards that thigh. For younger kids, maybe we want this ball to come a little bit back more in my shoulder because they're not strong enough to be able to step through the ball and hit it. So serving off their back shoulder is probably easier for 13 and 14-year-olds that don't have the strength. So it, it's not always the way it is in the book, okay? You, you'll find out that it works better sometimes the other way. All right. Uh, so we got routine into place now and what we're trying to do. Grab uh, f about four balls, and one person's going to serve four balls. You guys are just catching and rolling them back. Get four balls. You're going to serve first. You can serve four balls. Grab four. Grab four balls. Grab four balls, quickly. Go, 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 go. Where's he going to go? Right there. There's balls in there. Well, hey, you're going to give her balls. Okay, here we go. Right here. Yeah, good. Get ready to give her balls, yeah. Because you're not going to get hit in the head this way. So you're standing here. Stand in front of her. Stand in front of her. Get another ball. Get another ball. Is there none in there? Give her some balls, guys. Good. Okay, face her. You're going to say to her now, as she comes along, you're just going to give her the balls fast. Just go bang, bang. You take your breath if that's all you got time for. As soon as you catch the ball, you've got to get almost ready to serve the ball. All right? So I want to see your hands. I'll watch your hands. Go ahead. Arm. Yep. Yeah. Good. Now, a little straighter. Straighter, straighter. She's pulling back here. Try to turn this hand out more. There. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's still got a little bit of a bend, but straighten that bend up. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Good. And she's got a nice follow-through on the ball, okay? So keep going. Give her four balls. You too. Same thing there. Going forward in a row. All right? Okay, bang. Try to keep that hand up. Yeah, good snap on it. If you want to create a ball that's going to go further or longer, if I increase the intensity of my step and maybe my arm together, the ball's going to actually go further and faster. All right? Switching it up, yeah. Switch it up, guys. You guys, so some of you just come in this side. Just keep switching, all right? All right, well, before we do that, let's everybody serving balls now. Go ahead. You're going to serve the ball. Again, if we said before, I'm going to serve it cross court. If I'm playing defense, what position do you play? Power and middle. So let's say you're in the middle. You'd probably play defense in five, right? So this is a good place to serve from. Remember to move yourself in a bit. You're aiming for that red line, more or less, with your service towards the back meter of the court. Any way you're going for ball. Where are you guys serving from? Setter? Go over that side. Where are you serving from? Middle? A little bit that way. And yourself? Power? This is good. Six? Setter? Good. All right? You guys are just rolling balls back. After about ten balls, just switch sides automatically. All right? So they're, they're going to go ahead. I want you to serve line and cross court because you've already taught it to them. So using their hips, getting set, you're looking at their footwork. Just all, that's all you're looking at. Go ahead. Yep. Is that cross court or line? Well, why did you step at me? You didn't step cross court. Okay, so step in the direction you want to serve the ball to. Yeah. Step to me. Your hips to me. Hips to me. Good. Yeah. There you go. Good. Just that they orientate their hips. That's good. Go ahead. Right over my head. Good. Your hand. You got a beautiful arm. It's good. On it. Compliments don't hurt <laughs> as you go through it. Okay, so some people say you serve the ball into the net, what do you do? Push-ups or runs or changes? If you want to increase the intensity, you can do that. If you're serving both sides, they miss it, run to the other side, serve again. You know, you're watching. I don't do too much in the way of what I call negativity training. I try to make the correction uh, on it. doesn't mean I don't feel it when they miss. It's there for sure. Okay, uh, switching again. Keep yourself switching. Sarah, yeah. And one person, you get four more balls to serve the ball to. This one's a little different now. Go ahead. Yep. Four balls. Get four balls. So somebody's serving. You can serve. You can serve. Got four. Good. 
So this time, and I want you to really work on your hips when she says that. So you stand here. Just stand right here. Nobody's going to hit you. Yeah. You're going to give her the ball. And you're going to say to Sarah, five. So Sarah's going to look at five and step to five. As soon as she does that, you give her a ball. Maybe you're going to say one. Five or one. Five or one. One, one. Five. You know, you're putting them under a little bit of pressure by giving them tack, and you're just looking to see if these hips are changing to get themselves orientated. Look at their arms a little bit. You're, you've gone through that a bit with them, but, you know, and what they're doing mechanically, and the rest will take care of itself. Go ahead. Yep. You guys go. You call it. Call it out loud so they can hear you. Bounce it to them. Bounce it to them. Bounce it to them. Yeah. Where do you want it to go? Quickly. Tell her. Tell her. Yeah, loud, loud so they can't hear you over here in the crowd. Whoop. That's, is that five? Was that five? Why, why didn't we step this way? Isn't that, oh, that's five. That's one. You're right. <laughs> Just want to see if they're on their toes, okay? So you can play games with them I, when they start serving. Okay, go ahead. Who's serving next? Same game. Keep going. Yeah, switch some players. Good job. A little bit deeper and higher. Get the ball higher. We're bending at the back a little bit too much. One of the things that occurs is this bending. Sometimes it's because of the toss so, and because they're trying to get to the ball more and more. But okay, now she's going to do that. But S Sarah's going to be telling her where to go, but she's also going to be saying nice things. And you've got to be really loud on this, okay? She's going to say, okay, five. What a beautiful smile you've got there. Go okay, go ahead. Five. Your shoelace is undone, I think. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you're getting them to get into a zone of what they have to do, okay? Go ahead. See? See what happens right away? So if you don't do this, this may be a fun game, but it's also doing the little thing that you want. Put them under a little bit of, can I do it without laughing and joking and smiling? Go ahead, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Who's next? Go, make a decision, yeah. All right, good, yeah. Oh, and so I, as a coach, sometimes I'll use things like, oh, you know, it's a, sort of like a, a, a feedback to them, but, a, you know, in a comical, different way, as opposed to, that's stupid. Why the heck are you missing that serve, you know? You're using too much in that way, but, or else, good, you did it, right on, you know, see if you can make it. Guys, switching, just keep yourself switching. You should know yourself, yeah, one of you. All right, let's move on here, and both sides can try this to start with. And I'm going to go quickly here. Whew, my time's wasting. I didn't even get to the other things I want to do. Quickly. Ball's serving high and going to the far, high part of the court. You're catching it more on your shoulder and trying to keep it high and deep. This is the serve you want to start the game. This is the serve you want. Timeouts, close games, etc. that you're maybe not confident in your service style. Go ahead. You can serve from that side too if you want. Yeah, quickly. Yeah, a little bit high. Yeah, that's good. Nice and high. Get it to go higher than that yet. Nice and high, let it loop down and over. Good. Okay, high. Okay, so don't catch it as in front of you. Catch it more on my shoulder, and I will maybe use a bit of a back bend on the ball. This is this high, what I call safe serve, and they should learn that fairly quickly. You guys serve it back to them. You can serve back, yep. Okay, a little bit higher on your service. Get it to go higher. So up high. That's, that's the height. Now just on the contact point. Yeah. Okay. So you notice that a lot of these girls will have trouble because they've been grooved into this. And they can't get back into that. That takes a while as they get to it. All right. If you want to serve the ball short, show me how you could do that. Show me. Just watch serving the ball short. What are you going to do? Good. She has a nice contact. She's... Strong, so she can keep the ball in front. Other players, maybe contact is here. Ball's going up and dropping. Go ahead, short, short service. Okay, jump float, go ahead. On jump float, on it. A lot of this stuff's rented here. We're not going to get the jump spin, I'm afraid, guys. Sorry. Quickly. You're going to show us your, if you've got a jump float, show us. 
If you've got a jump float. So what I try to do when I'm teaching jump float to kids is if I take this young lady here, just very quickly, keep going, jump float, standing here, it's okay, face the wall. She's facing the wall, and all I want her to do is try to just toss the ball and step and hit the ball to the wall. So she's just going to jump, yeah, that's it, perfect, that's really good. Okay, again. All right, that's right. Keep that arm up. Grab, grab a ball. Yeah, good. So as she's coming here now, if I want her to go, what I'm trying to do is go right, left, I toss the ball. Pardon me, left. Yeah, yeah, left off her left foot. So she's coming. Go ahead first. And she, eventually her legs will separate a bit more. Go ahead. Yep. She's starting to move left, right, left, and to the ball. She's got a nice hop to it, but still there. Go ahead. Keep going, guys. So she's going. She's just standing. Show me again. So start again here. Serve it into the wall. Catch it, and then serve it over the net right away. So you can use the wall here. Serve it. Turn around. Uh, grab a ball. Watch your head, though. You want to grab one? So turn around, Sarah, this way, go here, right here. Now serve it into the wall, catch it, turn around, and go right into your service. Yeah, turn around and come right into your service. Bang. So you use the wall as a weapon to make something occur that way. Your hoops, your targets, etc. you can even have an a, a elastic across the top of the net if you want low, low fast serves to go underneath it. If you want it to go over top, you can be working towards that. Another way we've taught this for kids to learn that, can you demonstrate this for me? Just stand here, sort of neutral, step and toss and hit this ball. Just a little step. No, just, yeah, okay, just go ahead. Yeah, just one step. One step and jump. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> you want to move the back foot? Okay, try it again. So I'd use the wall here as opposed to the net. That's better. Now the ball's just in front of you. Catch it a bit more on your shoulder. Go ahead, Sarah. Same thing. Yeah. Just stand, one step, just one step, and bang. Uh, <laughs> two steps, and bang. Idea is to try to get them this idea that I'm drifting towards the ball as I come through it. Okay? One, go ahead. Last ones. Try. Yeah. So toss it before I step. No, not after. You're tossing it after I step. So as I, just as I'm stepping, I make my toss. So I'm, by the time it goes up, I'm already coming on the floor. Yeah, good. And then they, they experiment. Do it any way you want. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, could be like a, is that a beach? I don't know. That's a beach standing jump. But now she can make it by drifting a little bit. Okay, and then you add the steps that she needs to come forward, right, left, off. You know, coming off left, right, left is usually sequence. Okay, girls, come on in. Br grab the balls.